The entire term of time travel is a double-edged sword, not everything goes according to plan, and there are a lot of consequences that can come out of altering one's reality, something Anita will have to figure out throughout the second season together with Joel, who's the second time traveler of the series, and the one that will probably dictate how things are going over the course of the second season of Back to 15. We're more than certain that at least once in your life, each and every one of you thought how things would be if you could look many years younger, but have the same knowledge and experience of your life that you have right now. Well, the Brazilian teen drama Back to 15 is just about that. A woman who has time-traveling abilities, who thrives to find meaning in her existence, using time as a catalyst for a change, and tries to affect future events. Ones that she already lived past once in her life. Anita, the main character, is unhappy with how her life works at the moment, which is also the time period in which she finds out she can change her present status. Netflix did a phenomenal job with the project as the series plays the concept of time while also informing viewers of one principle that all time travel has in common, and it goes like this. Whenever you go back in history and change one thing, it has a consequence to lead your life to a very different pathway, a change that has a significant impact on the future, a new reality that is not known to anyone. Am I having an affair with Douglas? What's the matter? Carol! You're hungover. The series comes with a message about our life that it's ours alone and no one else's. Back to 15 is a coming-of-age series that Janaina Tokitaka adapted and scripted. The story of the series is based on a book by Bruno Vieira of the same name, a 30-year-old lady who has achieved nothing in her life so far. There is Amelie, her cat, and her constant partner in life, and the two of them living in a shabby apartment. And before we move forward with the video, we should warn you that there will be spoilers up ahead from the first season of the TV show. And with that in mind, let's dive right in. Anita's phone rings and she's informed that she needs to catch a flight to her hometown for her sister's wedding, a place where she's welcomed with a lot of collective cynicism about her existence. She rekindles some old friendships and memories together with some old pals. Carol, her cousin, followed her husband's advice and gave up on her goals. She thinks of Henrique as her best friend, but when Anita stumbles into Eduardo, Carol's husband, she starts to flirt with Anita, something that Carol sees and humiliates Anita for. Anita, ashamed in front of everyone, goes to her room and opens the blog she started when she was 15, with the first picture taken for the whole thing, which is also the time when Anita is given a choice on how to live her life if she was 15 years old. Once again, she is given the chance to create a new future for herself, after which Anita embarks on a voyage across time and attempts to impact people that are actively involved in her life at that time, not realizing that she's the one who needs guidance and nurturing. The story starts when Anita begins to change the way a trio of boys Eduardo, Fabrizio, and Joel, and what they did to everyone else, shaming them in the middle of a circle, but this time Anita is prepared as not only she has gone through the whole thing once, she's here with the brain of her 30-year-old self, which is one of the biggest things to remember about the series, and one element that will change many things along the way. After trying to get the most possible outcome of all her relationships, she also concentrates on Cesar, her closest gay friend. With everything adding up to her, having a completely different future without Enrique there to force her to change her life by traveling through time. Following a conversation with her father, Anita is determined to go forward in search of her calling. However, her father informs her that she cannot control the lives of her friends, but she is indeed able to control her own life, which eventually gives Anita a new perspective and she embarks on a new journey and begins a chat messenger conversation with Joe, who suggests to her that it may be all a time machine. Anita, Anita, spare me for crying out loud. You're 30 years old now. After which Anita suffers a nervous breakdown, thinking that Joel might have figured it all out. Struggling to believe that she'll construct an honest and aligned future for herself, the new Anita, who's 30 years old, forgets that she has a dinner date with Joel before parting for Paris. And the one responsible for everything is Enrique, a time when things start to heat up. Perplexed by the rejection from Anita, he goes onto her blog and logs in as her and finds a photo she took of him when he was 15 years old which makes him go back to his childhood, a cliffhanger that brings us to the second season of the series, and the plot, a season we don't know much about, but we'll try to tell you everything we know so far, and without further ado, let's dive right in. But nothing will compare to the coconut candy. <laughs> <laughs> the second season of the series could be described as a mystery, as we know close to nothing at all about it, with no details or any bits and pieces about it have been shared so far. But the important thing still is that Back to 15 is renewed and coming to Netflix. The first season of the series was released on February 25th, 2022, with a six-episode count of 35 to 40 minutes runtime each. And seeing just how much of an interest the creators have for the series, 
we should be getting the second season of the TV show by the end of 2023, particularly in the winter months of the year. The first season focused on Anita and her friends and ended with Joel, one of Anita's friends, finding out about Anita's secret and traveling back in time himself by accident. Thus, it'll be an interesting thing to see how Joel will see his teenage years with Anita, with his protagonist story probably being put more on the focus this time around. Hence, we're gonna see more of their dialogues and word changes, the little banters, with us being reminded of that high school friendship we all had in our lives. Joel's development of feelings towards Anita right at the end of the series also suggests that we'll be seeing more of him in the future. There's also a chance of us seeing a love triangle between Joel and Anita, something that will further twist the fabric of one reality, and a complete change of another. They might even end up as a couple. That is, if there are no more twists and turns along the way, something we highly doubt of being true. Passport, boarding pass, and a sleeping mask. And your luggage is all packed. As for the cast members, well, we expect all of them to return, and with a quite diverse cast, we wouldn't want it to be any other way. And with that taken into consideration, we should expect Mesa Silva and Camila Queros as Anita and adult Anita, respectively. Then there's Clara Castano in the role of Carol, Anita's cousin, with Yana Sardenberg portraying the adult version of Carol. Amanda Azevedo and Mariana Rios will be back as Anita's sister, Luisa, and adult Luisa, with Gulherm and Bruno Montilione as the two versions of Fabricio. And last but not the least, we have Antonio Carrera as teenage Joel and Gabriel Stauffer as adult Joel. Here you go, my man. Freezing cold. Thanks, man. Anita has control over her life by making it the center of attention. However, Joel might be the one to mess things up with us seeing another parallel and witnessing things through his eyes, which also asks the question, how is Joel constantly present in every new reality that Anita creates for herself? Whatever the case may be, we should be in for a treat as the second season comes out, with the series itself boasting with a lot more character development and a lot more drama involved all around. What do you mean I'm unable to log in? What's going on? <sighs> on a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the series so far, what would you say was your best moment of the first season of the TV show, and what are your expectations about the second season? Where would you like to go next? But also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.